Mosquitoes can be a nuisance to even the most experienced of grounded players, particularly in groups. But I've got a simple solution for you here today. Hello my friends and welcome to World of Spikecraft. My name is Bullskunk and today I'm going to show you my mosquito umbrella. This is this is my method for dealing with those vicious pests in the backyard. And whether you're new to grounded or a veteran of the game, you can utilize this tool no matter what armor you may have equipped to deal with one or even multiple mosquitoes time and time again. Hopefully you'll get some value out of it. So without further delay, let's get started. First things first, you'll want to decide what area to build your new defense system. And you're going to go ahead and clean it out. So we're going to go ahead and get these mosquitoes out of our way. We're using the Stinger Spear momentarily, which if you don't have, it's one of the best starter weapons. Go check out my video on where to find the free Stinger Spear. With that out of the way, let's go get our materials. So for our mosquito umbrella, we're going to need 66 thistle needle, 44 crude rope. 22 sap, 68 wheat stems, and 24 grass planks. So here we're going to go ahead and grab our sap and our crude rope. And we're going to head back over to our thistle plant. And we're going to gather all the thistle needles we need here. And through the power of editing, we now have 72 thistle needles ready to go. And all of our harvested materials in our inventory. So now let's build the base of the umbrella. So we're going to find a suitable spot. Let me take a look at the inventory. There you go. Find our square scaffolding, and we're going to put it as high up as we can. Make sure we have enough room to walk underneath it. Then we're going to grab the grass floors and put one grass floor on each side, framing our scaffolding, kind of like a plus pattern. So you'll need these before you can put the corners in, because that's going to be your support. So with those in place, go ahead and grab your triangle floors, and just fill in your corners, make this nice circular structure. Well, there we go. Now with that in place, let's go get some weed stems. We're going to want to build the scaffolding first, because that's going to support the, the rest of the structure. So we're going to go chop down a nearby husky weed. Take axe to bark. And the husky weed goes down. Gather up our weed stems and go ahead and build our scaffolding. Now we're going to set the rest of our weed stems aside because we're going to use these later once we start building our spike strips. We're going to clean up our mess, gather up the rest of the weed stems, drop by that husky weed. And we're just going to set those in that pile and save these for when we start building our spike strips. Plus, we don't want to leave a mess in the backyard. So we'll go ahead and just drop those in that same pile. We'll head back, clean up the rest, add to our pile, and we've got a nice stock with which to do the spike strips once we're finished with the base. But now we need grass planks. We gotta get these grass floors done. We'll chop down a couple pieces of grass. Gonna be a good starting point. So remember to start with your square grass floors first. You'll, you'll need to put those in because they're going to be supporting the triangle edge pieces. So we'll gather the rest of our grass here. Boom. Another piece in. Another piece in. There we go. And we're just going to finish off this side here. Work around. Oh, it looks like we're about three shy, so we're just going to need a few more pieces of grass. That'll do it. Then head over to the other side and put put it in. Put put it in it. Put, come on. Don't, there you go. There you go. Oh, hi. Hey, look, we made a friend. Uh, magical baby spider. What are, you, what are you doing, magical baby spider? We're trying to build here. We, you need to leave us. Hey, don't bite me. That's what you get. Oh, we're trying to break our new structure there. Fortunately, we didn't do too much damage. All right, with the base structure built, it's time to lay down our spike strips. So we're gonna start with the grass floors and put it as close to the edge as possible. And then we're gonna put four in total. So try to get them in as a nice neat line. I, I, like, I like it nice and organized. I mean, it's a trap. It doesn't have to be picture perfect. And then we're gonna lay these along the edge here. There we go, just like so. And just keep working our way back. 
One, two, three. No. You may have noticed the center triangle piece. We don't need that. Disregard that. Not necessary. Get that out of there. But this fourth one was giving us problems, so what we needed to do is just turn it around, have the spikes facing inward. And then it'll let us place this final spike strip here. There we go. It doesn't matter which direction these are facing. It'll be all the deadly just the same. All right, now let's go over to the other side. Remember, put this one as close to the edge as possible without it, you know, being floaty. And then just work our way back. Three and four. And then our final side. Close to the edge. And work our way back. As soon as it turns blue, I'm just trying to make sure we can squeeze four in there. So we get it right to the edge. And then this one is going to be stubborn as well. So we're just going to go ahead and rotate this around. Put the spikes facing inwards. And there we have it. It's a good start. It's a good start. We still need to do our corners though. So we want to get those just right up on the edge. Just one per triangle floor is plenty. So this is to make sure all sides are deadly. One, two, three, and four. And if you're doing your math, you'll notice that I'll give you enough ingredients for 22 spike strips. Don't worry about it. We'll put those extra two in in a minute. Right now, we're just going to go fill in all of the sap, crude rope, and thistle needle for everything we have so far. We're just going to go through and fill this in. We'll go ahead and skip ahead a little bit. Just get all of those ingredients placed. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, that's such a satisfying noise. Here we go. And this will leave it to where all we have left are the weed stems. Now for those two additional spike strips that we mentioned earlier. We're just going to place them right across with the spikes facing in. Just for some added lethality. Maximum lethality from our umbrella. Stick the uh, ingredients that we have harvested right in there. And all that's left is to add our weed stems. So far, so good. So far, so good. All right, so let's go back to this pile of weed stems we got waiting for us. We're just going to jump right on up. And now the important thing here is to start on the far side. And you want to work close to the edge which you're jumping up on. So notice we jumped up from directly behind us and we're working on the far side. Because these spike strips are deadly. So you, you want to make sure you're not having to cross, you're not having to reach. We need to harvest some more weed stems here. And if you don't have spike strips already, you can unlock spike strips by getting some thistle needles. Really just a thistle needle. And then take it to one of the outposts and examine it. So you can take it to any science station, examine that thistle needle, and you'll unlock the ability to build these spike strips. So again, we're working our way from the far side back. Grab a few more of our weed stems. There we go. About halfway there. Go harvest a few more. And continue the process. Oh, we're getting close. We're getting close, friends. All right, so now we're kind of backing ourselves. Yep, just backing up into a corner a little bit. And once we get to this point, it's like, don't move. We're just going to stand still right on this edge and fill in everything we can. So we've got the geometry working for us so we can just jump right up. Now, if you're in a perfectly flat spot, you can build a one weed stem triangle scaffolding uh, and kind of make it as like a stepping stool to allow you to jump up there easily. Fortunately, in this situation, we had a little bit of a hill to work with. We didn't need that extra piece of scaffolding. All right, so now we're just going to fill in these last couple from above. And then these two we can reach from below with or without scaffolding. And we need three more. Oh, of course, there's only two pieces of weed stems left. Of course, we're, we're one weed stem shy. So we're going to go find us a dandelion. Chop this bad boy down. Timber! All right. 
final weed stem is in place. We'll just put those aside, save those for another day. And our mosquito umbrella is complete. Now, next time those mosquitoes spawn around here, we won't have to worry about stabbing at them. They won't even know what hit them. So we've come back now that one has respawned and he immediately gets mad at us. So we're just going to simply run back underneath our umbrella and kite the mosquito around our trap. The mosquito will impale itself on the spikes and boom. Hey, Orville, Orville, we're, we're trying to show people how to use the mosquito umbrella. Why are you interrupting us, Orville? I'm afraid you have got to go. But just like that, we didn't even have to take a swing at this mosquito and it was done. Now let's take a look at an example from one of my streams. I think I got all three of them. So even this simple umbrella works really well. There we go. Just like that, three mosquitoes dead. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider leaving a like. It really does go a long way to help support the channel. Drop a comment. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if this was helpful to you. I'd love to hear your feedback. If you have any questions or just want to come hang out, I do stream link below every Tuesday through Friday starting at 11 Eastern. I would love to see all your smiling faces there. So until then, go look out for each other in gaming out, and I'll see you next time.